Hey guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting reading to episode 3 of Dropout Idol Fruit Tart. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> I think I'm going to edit this first before I edit Pretty Girl. <laughs> yeah! Skin. Aren't they exposing enough skin already? I mean, you know, that the, le the legs, really more of thigh, um, shoulders, your bare shoulders, even though I, I don't know how, like, you, okay, let, let's talk about this because I've always wondered this as a kid and especially even as a teenager and I was like, when teachers said, oh, we can't wear, um, shirts or dresses or any types of clothing that showed our shoulders and stuff exposing it if you did you had to wear a jacket over it because you're, you're showing not only you're showing too much skin but two you're gonna get something for a guy an erection out for a guy and i was like wait hi <laughs> like hold on like i don't think there's a guy who's into that soldier like that and so I'm like, wait, no, no, like, hell, like, I'm so confused. But, mm. <laughs> But still, because I remember I went on a trip to Georgia and my teacher went off on one of my friends for it. And I was like, what? At first I was like, okay. And then later on I was like, mmm, confused. Oh, let me up real quick. This is the episode when the que blah, 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 I can't speak. Kiwi girl is supposed to show up, right? The girl who has like, who kind of looks like Nico. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Yeah, but... I mean, because they could have been an opening for the bigger group. I mean, like, you know, okay, for D4DJ and for Bandari, Mermaid opened for my best man, Rosalia, and nobody had a problem with that. <laughs> Poor baby. Okay, Sakura. See, okay, Sakura, that's a little too much. I mean, yes, Roko is cute. <laughs> Hell, but hold up. I mean, you, you, you know, you're a little soccerish. I mean, it's cute and adorable, but Roko is just gonna be like, you know what? You need to just, mm, you here and you need to be down here. Of course. <laughs> I mean, but it kind of worked, though. I mean, you know, sometimes you have to flaunt it just to get something. A deal. A sale.
So now you guys need to perform. What? It, but the uh, uh, stage. Oh, there's a stage. Well, um, mm. <gasps> there she is! I see her! She's behind her! Oh my god! Move over! Let's see her! <laughs> Well, you know, Riri just, she got it. She's cute. Mm. Oh, of course she does. Because what did y'all play? Immediately, like you see that, you be like, "Oh, dang, Roko, you is short." <laughs> I don't know why, but like looking at the hamster, it seems like Hemo is into. Oh no, Hemo! Oh. She likes creepy stuff, and you know what? I'm okay with that. She might be like, um, what's her face from Comic Girls. Which I don't remember her name. The girl who who um made horror manga. <laughs> but Roko, it's all over your face. This is a kitty patootie. I love her eyes. Like, oh my god. True. <laughs> mm. 
Nina is me. Nina is Beth, girl. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, babe. Oh, uh, oh, yeah, I'm sorry, flat chest is... <laughs> <laughs> well, now you know, I mean... <laughs> Oh. Her insecurity about her legs. Me. <laughs> These girls. Okay. Like, <gasps> my I mean, ooh, like, do you see how tall her sister is? Like, she probably as tall as me. And Rogo look like my mom. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> you know. <laughs> oh my god. Because she's taller than you? Chino, I'm mean, not Chino. Coco, a Chinese makes up Chino as her little sister. And, Rua, and then we're going to call her Chi. Probably because Roko talks about you guys. Oh. What, just to also see Roko as well? Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, even your sister's a fan. Well, oh, cool. Hmm? Oh. <laughs> really? I mean, hey, food is the best gift. <laughs> cheesecake.
what about you? <laughs> yeah, good luck. Have fun. Break a leg. <laughs> Eno! That's the worst possible thing. It's just nerves. It's okay. You'll do fine. <laughs> oh, hello. Cute, I can't. Oh, I thought you watched the show as well. And it sinks to you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Eno's right. And it sucks that we're not... Re okay, there we go. We got some dancing. But it would have been nice to see, like, the whole thing instead of just, like, okay, here's some pictures and then the dance. so fucking cute. Like, oh my god. Stop it. I feel like after this, like, performance, we're going, it's gonna be the next day. And, um, gonna show up at the house and they're all gonna be like what are you doing here and be like oh I'm joining the group <laughs> like a cute little shy self oh my god Oh my 
was cute. Oh my god. That was adorable. Good job, guys. What's up, Roko? Mm -hmm. He's so fucking cute. Oh my god. Okay, so Hemo. She is adorable. Even though Nina is not like my best girl. But Hemo is freaking cute. Like, I love her. Oh my god. She's super shy and just, oh my god. The fact is, like, Sakura turns around and Hemo is, like, on the other side. <laughs> I do also love Roko's sister. She's so freaking adorable. I mean, I love the fact that, like, Roko is, like, <laughs> you're like, I really, I don't accept you as my sister anymore. You know, even though you're my little sister, because you are taller than me. Like, mm -mm. it should be the other way around. I mean, when I was a kid growing up, because right now I'm 5'11", and my mom is like 5'2", five, 5'3". Five, five, Every single time people would see us, they would immediately think I'm like the mom, and she's like the kid, or I'm like the older sister, and she's the younger sister. And I'm like, no! I'm like, I'm the child. <laughs> I'm like, mm-mm, because -mm, I look more like my dad, because my dad is, like, hella tall, and my mom is just short, but it happens. It just works, but yeah. Anytime when I'm around, like, my short family members, I either have to, like, bend down, or I'm just like, no, we're just gonna sit, but still people, like, watch me hug people, though, but yeah. This is a cute episode. I mean, Rogo Sisters group seems adorable. Oh, there we go. After the concert. Did she go to the restroom again? <laughs> yeah, it was still them nerves. Honestly, if they really wanted to make a game out of this anime, I mean, I played it in a heartbeat. But because of the fact is, you know, this is Kiddo Fantasia's, um, this is a part of the Kiddo Fantasia game. And I think as of right now, from when I said from episode one, the only girls that are representing this show, I think, is Roko and, um, Roko, Eno, and maybe Nina. I don't know if they've showed Hayu. I mean, it would make sense for all four of them to be featured in the game. But, like, I want, like, I think I wanted that for not only Sakura Trick, but, um, Honey Yamata. There we go. Honey Yamata was one of those that I watched, like, way, way, uh, did a reaction to way, way, way before, um, I played Kid of Fantasia. And when I heard that Honey Yamata was going to be and uh, Kira Fantasy, I, I immediately wanted to play it and stuff like that. And I thought that all four, four, five girls, I think it is five, um, would have been featured. And they only did um, Naru, uh, the blonde girl's name that I can't remember, and then my best girl. Um, what the heck was her name? The girl who uh, was in a band and eventually she quit and she eventually joined the group, her. And I was thinking, I was like, wait, you're forgetting two. I was like, where's the other two to make five? But I mean, yeah, it's still a little messed up because they could still have them in the game. I know for the, um, the volleyball anime that came out a couple, like two years ago, I believe one or two years ago, um, they featured all the girls for them. And I was really excited about that because that anime was good as hell. But yeah, I mean, I hope that maybe in a rerun or like a new gotcha for it or anything if I start playing this damn game again because on myself I probably will um maybe they'll feature the rest of the girls it would be nice I mean that's your freaking merchandise that is how you're making me get into the game when you show all these cute adorable characters and you're like hey you want a game with them in here here you go but yeah this is a good episode I mean 
maybe I would like to see an episode on Roko's sister, honestly, and her group and a day in their lives or like, you know, them watching a TV special on them. I think that'd be really good just to say, cause like, yeah, her older, her younger sister just seems cute as a button and just like, oh my God, I love her so much. <laughs> But yeah, I can't wait to see him um, next week officially join the group and maybe they'll get a new song as well. But yeah, other than that, guys, that was my reaction view towards episode three of Dropout Idol Fruit Tart. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Monday for episode four. Bye, guys.